I think a lot of people don't realize how green Sentosa is mm -hmm. on the back end. Basically, this other food is uh, from the events. We did about 28,500 kg. 18,000 RT, 50,000 kilowatt hour per month. More than 60% of the seafood is responsibly and sustainably sourced. When you collect seashells, it means that you are taking homes away from permit crabs. We have to accumulate as little waste as possible over the next three days. We're gonna eat. How awesome is that? Right, Erica. We're here. We're here <laughs> on Sentosa. I couldn't ask for a better person than you to join me. Because you're like my sustainable buddy. We did BYOB a right. couple of years back with Zero Waste. To bring your own shopping bags to the supermarket. Okay. Today I have a BYOJ. Bring your own <laughs> oh, jar! jar. Okay, <laughs> this, cool. this is our Mason Jar Challenge. It's travelled with me with Muna and Victoria. Whatever waste we generate has to go into okay, the jar. Okay, you guys did pretty well. There is a grand prize. You win this jar. Yes, <laughs> if, if we don't overflow the jar. Okay, that will cool. go with us throughout today. All right. But our first activity is going to be a nature trail walk. Sweet. A lot of people don't realize there are quite a few trails here. Yeah. And we're going to do this one today. Cool. Sentosa, mm -hmm. very good at supporting the whole biodiversity of flora and fauna. Mm -hmm. Let's see if we can spot these guys. Look Look in at the this. sand. I know. This is it's like an art installation. So rare old trees of Mount Imbia stand guard along the paths of the forest, which is why we're walking, right? Mm. Part of the original forest and have been parent plants for many tree ah. generations. So that means before all of us, these trees have been here. Does it smell like pandan? I'm gonna find out. <laughs> okay, we're gonna have a little bit of a lunch break here. All right. Obviously, this will go into the mason jar at yeah. the end. But when you can, be a little yeah. bit more sustainable. Yeah. And when you can't, it's okay. Just yeah. be a little bit more responsible. As long as you recycle and you balance things out, try to reduce your carbon footprint when you can, it's all good. Next stop, change of location. I think this is something that uh, you're really gonna resonate with. Wow. What a spread. I know. <laughs> Why I wanted to bring you here to Ola Beach Club is because they're one of the partners of the Sentosa Carbon Neutral Network. Oh, cool. Okay, and that's a collective effort of a whole bunch of private and public uh, businesses mm -hmm. that want to achieve Sentosa sustainable goals. The main being carbon neutral by 2030. We've got the pork ribs here, we've okay. got the pulled pork, pineapple rice, oh. ahi bowl. I think one of the cool things about Ola Beach Club right now is their plant-based options. So that's our squid quinoa bowl, seafood laksa, yeah. crab burger, and our fish wrap. So if I balance my week where yeah. I meatless certain meals during the week, it's lowering my carbon food. Yeah. Oh my god. How is it? Good. Tastes like squid. And does it feel? But more importantly, the texture. That would be very difficult to emulate. Yeah. But that is, How did you that do is it? spot on. Ola have a little edible garden. Right here? Yeah, oh. so you're not transporting it in. It's literally like garden to table. I come to Ola a lot mm. with my kids. We go paddle boarding. Every time we paddle, mm. it's a great opportunity to actually for us to pick trash. What Ola does, which is great, is like they organize these ocean and beach cleanups. We're going to take a stroll down the beach. If we see trash, we'll pick some up yeah. and we'll make an effort of, of, of contributing cool. today. Can I take the plastic caps because I will recycle. Oh yes, you do. I found a plastic bag we can use. Yeah, it's crazy what you find, huh? Just random There's trash. One. Are you ready for our next little activity? Yes, it's been a good day so far. I think you're going to enjoy this one even more. You did? Yeah, surprise right. you. I'm going to surprise you. Okay, okay. <laughs> I'm up for it. Right. Hi, Suki. Hello. Hello. Hi, I'm Paul. Hi, Hi, I'm Erica. Over here, it's called the Coastal Trail. Some interesting fact about the cicadas is that only the male vibrates its abdomen to create this sound to attract their females. Suddenly, you feel like some drops of oh. uh, raindrops. <laughs> okay, it's actually um, their urine. They're trying to pass oh. out their body system because they don't sweat. One actually of the birds that people don't really fancy is the quails. It sounds like, oh! It actually repeats it's, its own name. So it goes something like, yeah. Are you sure it's just not you two in the morning waking up yeah. and doing this? <laughs> so I'm, I'm, I'm hearing you guys. Yeah. They actually help to uh, keep the ecosystem balanced mm -hmm. by eating some of the cicadas. 
this particular item actually comes from a tree. And the tree is called the kapok tree. Kapok. So it was explode open and then all this kapok will then just fly and then come all the way here. So a lot of the times when Sentosa even refurbish our area or the forest, we also make sure that it is native to the island yeah. so that it comes through to whatever that was here back in the day. Singapore has a huge biodiversity of corals and it's up to about only for cut corals, 200 different species. We have to make sure that this whole area is safe for them to inhabit. This particular body over here, it's called the pistol shrimp. Yeah. It's a bigger pinfish. When it opens up, there's actually a socket right in the middle, okay, that traps air. Okay, so when it actually closes it really, really quickly, this air bubble is then shoot out and then it will pop. That's why sometimes when it's low tide, you have this. Oh my god. Thus, it is called the snapping shrimp. We're gonna actually release it back into natural environments. Yes. You just be so surprised at what nature can form. Trash. I thought it was trash. And her guide was like, no, no, no. Those These are eggs. snow eggs. Yeah. So you can guess like maybe about 100 to 200 yeah. eggs had been like oh, around wow. this area. Found one. A huge one. Oh my god. Do you see all those yeah. mini mini legs moving? Wow. These are what that helps it to flip and move. Never buy authentic seashells. Because when you collect seashells, it means that you are taking homes away from permit crabs. Yeah. This particular slug is actually called an ong slug. Well, Erica, yeah. that concludes our day together. Yep. I've had three days with three wonderful friends, learning a lot about what Sentosa is doing to be a lot more sustainable. I've been indoors, I've been behind the scenes, I've been outdoors. Food waste, maritime and marine life conservation, nature walks. Yeah. And I've seen a side of the island that I've never seen before. But okay. we also have the Mason Jar the Challenge. Mason Jar Challenge yeah. right. We did very well. You know, this was a, a team effort. We've all acknowledged <laughs> that uh, when you're a little bit more conscious and responsible, yeah. uh, it goes to show how much you yeah, can do. Yeah, four people, yeah, three days, three right? Days, three full days, so not bad. Now, that means we've completed the challenge and we've won. <laughs> <laughs> Sentosa Sustainability <laughs> Champion. Wait, I, I have to add an S to that. My oh, for okay, all. Because it was a team effort. There was four of us. We all have to keep this alive. Uh, yes, yes. Timeshare, right? Yeah. Timeshare time plan. Time plan. Awesome. <laughs>